Okay, now we're going to differentiate ln cos x all squared. Now the first way to interpret this question is to always apply the log rules before you differentiate a problem because it makes it easier. Now you see this power 2, according to the log rules that can be put in front of the log. So let's go ahead and rewrite that. We can rewrite this as y equals 2 ln cos x. Now that looks a little bit better. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the chain rule to differentiate. Every time you got something in a bracket like cos x, we're going to always let that be u. So we say, okay, let u equal cos x. This means that y equals now, if we update this equation and replace that with u, we're going to have 2 ln u. Okay, let's see what happens now. Now, at this point, we're going to differentiate both terms. So we're going to say du over dx. That's going to be a negative sine x. Whereas for the top one, dy over du, so remember, get your y's and u's carefully written, yeah? Because you've got y and u. If you differentiate ln u, the natural log, you just get 1 over 1 over u. So you're going to have, in this case, 2 over u. And now for this problem, all you have to do when you, have, when you use the chain rule is that you just multiply the last two derivatives. So you just multiply these two. And that's it. When you do that, you're pretty much done. So we say, therefore, dy over dx must be minus sine x times 2 over u. So we just write that down, minus sine x times 2 over u. And well, we know what u is. u is literally just cos x. So now we're going to have, I'm going to put a 2 in front, minus 2 sine x over cos x. And that's it. And if you want to make it a bit more fancy, sine x over cos x is tan. So you should get also minus 2 tan x. So that's another answer. And that's all guys. This should be your, should be your answer.